stand in the presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Oh God, our Father, we give you the praise, Lord, and give you all the glory. And we honor you, mighty God. We worship one more time, Father, at your footstool. We exalt your holy name, O oh God. Your name that is above every name. That at your name, Father, when it is called, demons tremble, O oh God. And others bow, every Father. O oh God, our Father, there is none like you. There is none sovereign God. You are the only sovereign one that we have come to know, God. And we come this day, Lord, just giving you honor and praise, O oh God. And just thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit that continues, God, to ignite yes. your power, God, in feeble bodies as ours. Vessels, God Almighty, that has been tossed and tested and tried. Lord God, with your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Your Holy Spirit, oh God. Your Holy Spirit's power, mighty God, is able to keep and to sustain and to strengthen, mighty God, and to guide and to shape, Lord God, to refine, oh God, our Father. We thank you this day and we praise you, God, and we surrender, Lord, this world in your hands. Have your way in this place. Have your way in the hearts of your people. Hallelujah. Open their eyes and their hearts now, God, to receive as thus saith the Lord. And that your name, God, or Father, will be glorified. That your name will be established and be revered and worshipped. We give you praise one more time and give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our Lord and Savior and God's children will agree and say amen and amen and amen and amen. Thank you Jesus. We give God the praise and the glory. And I will not hesitate but to entitle this message. Let my people go. Let my people go. And that is a command from Almighty God. Amen, amen. It is a command, church. And when God gives a command, it is not a question. Amen. When God gives a command, everybody has to stand at attention. Yes. And everybody has to respect. But there are some folks who think that even when God commands that they have to have the last say. And they are so stupid. They are fools. I have to call them that. Because when God says let my people go. The time has been fulfilled. The time is at hand. And no one can hold anyone that is of all God. Oh yes, we go to Psalm 124 and we give God the praise and the glory. Because the word of God says, if it had not been for the Lord. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. Church, I want you to listen to this word. No may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had would have swallowed us up. My Lord. Their wrath, when their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. We have escaped our help then is in the name of the Lord Amen. who made heaven and earth. So God's people have to be rejoicing because we have a God who is able to fight for us. 
And I'm going to show you that this God is a good God. Yes. And whatever he commands, yes. he means it. Amen. If he made your promise, church, hold on to it. Amen. No matter how long it takes Amen. for it to come My Lord. to pass, My Lord. hold on to it. Because I'm going to take you to a scripture in Genesis chapter 15 from 12 to 14 when God revealed to Abraham that his children or his seed would be in captivity mm -hmm. hear what the word says it says now then the sun was going down and a deep sleep fell upon Abraham and behold honor horror and great darkness fell upon him then he said to Abraham no certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs and will serve them and they will afflict them 400 years and also the nation whom they serve I will judge and afterward they shall come out with great possessions so God promised Abraham that his descendants would be in Egypt. That's where they were going to be, church. Yes. And that they would be held in bondage for 400 years. They would be afflicted My under Lord. the hands of Pharaoh. My Lord. Hmm. Listen to me today. But there came a time, my God, that the time had expired. The 400 years that God spoke to his servant way before time. Yes. That the 400 years Amen. were accomplished. And God Almighty in Exodus 3 sat Moses near a burning bush and was ready now to send Moses to Egypt. Yes. And I want to just bring this to your attention. We all know what happened when Moses, that he was in Egypt before. And when he committed murder, he ran mm -hmm. and tried to get away from Pharaoh. Yes. And God now was selected the same man mm -hmm. to send back to Pharaoh. Yes. And there are times when we might run from our past. Mm -hmm. We might run from our past church. But God can send us back to our past a little. Or he can bring, bring the past into the future a little. Just to show you that you don't have to fear anyone. Amen. You don't have to be afraid of your past. Amen. That you can face it. Amen. You can face it. My God Almighty. Yes. By the Spirit of Almighty God. And the word of God says that the bush was burning. We all know that story because it is read over and over and over. But it had to be used just to show you this God, how he works. Yes. The word of God says that Moses saw this bush and it was burning and it caught Moses' eyes. And, and when Moses looked, the bush was burning but not consumed. Yes. If you saw, you know how when bushes burn, after a while it burns right out. Mm -hmm. But not with this bush. Because the one who was consuming this bush church was the living fire. Because the word says he is a consuming fire. My God Almighty. So as the bush was burning, it caught Moses' attention. And when Moses went up to the bush to inquire, God started to speak. Amen. He says, Moses, Moses, take off your shoes. From where you stand is holy ground. Oh yes, when God comes down from heaven, wherever he lands, it's going to become holy. Wherever he decides to descend, church. So if God is in your sanctuary, it is holy ground. Always remember that. If God's Holy Spirit is operating in your midst, it is holy ground. And ah, we got to take off our shoes from off our feet. Lay on, unburden ourselves with the things that sometimes.
times and gave us my God Almighty in a state where we cannot worship God. The word says God started to speak. It says Moses, I'm sending you to Pharaoh. I'm sending you to Egypt. I want you to give, uh, uh, give this old Pharaoh, give him a message, give him a command for me. Tell him to let my people go. Tell him that the time had expired. Tell him that I who control the time and the seasons have sent a command. And I want him to respect that command. Yes. Let my people go. Yes. Oh yes, my God Almighty. There's so many times God's people might find themselves in situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And folks sometimes think that they have the last say yes. by God. Yes. That they can do as they please with God's yes. people. But I'm here to tell you it's good news for God's people. It's just four words. Let my people go. Yes. That there's a time coming Amen. when God is going to send a command. Hallelujah. And the command is not a question. Hallelujah. Can you let my people go? No, it is a straight command. Let my people go. You have had them for a long time. Time. You have had them in slavery. You have had them pounded. You have had them, my God Almighty, where you have gotten cheap labor for a long time. It's time for you to let my people go. Hallelujah. And the word of God says that. Oh, yes, God is just an awesome God. Because he sent a command to old Pharaoh to let my people go. And yet the word of God says that he hardened his heart. Why church? Because God wants at the end of every move that the enemy will know who is Jehovah God. The enemy will know who is in control, you see. And oh my God Almighty, if God's people's heart can just be lifted up in time. If God's people have to just give God thanks for a moment in time to let everyone know that God has a time selected and nobody can go beyond the time. So I'm going to glorify them and I'm going to rejoice my God Almighty. The word of God says it took ten plagues on Egypt. Yes. Before Pharaoh could have gotten it. And when everything was done, my God Almighty, Pharaoh was glad to let God's people go. He ran them out. He says, Go serve your God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I'm proclaiming it. And that some folks will be glad to give you what God says that is due to you. That there are some folks, my God Almighty, are to be glad to release Hallelujah. what is yours yes, to you. Lord, yes. Let my mm -hmm. people go. Yes, Jesus. Stop mm -hmm. keeping them in bondage. Yes. Because they are not by themselves. I am their God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I am the one who controls mm -hmm. heaven and earth. Yes. And I have given a command. Yes, I don't know who whose command is this. Let my people go. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Let my people go. Just four words, simple words. But they carry a big way, church, because it is coming uh, from God Almighty, the commander in chief, who sends command to folks who are high and lofty, they think. Let my people go. Ten plagues it took. And when Egypt released Israel, hallelujah. Oh, yes, the word of God says, yes. You will not see your enemy anymore. Forever. Forever. 
That's it. You see, when God releases people, my God Almighty, when God releases his people from oppression, oh yes, whatever you dealt with as the oppressor, you won't have to deal with Amen. them anymore forever. Amen. Hallelujah, because when God takes you out by a mighty right hand, when God says that, Hallelujah. I am saying to you, stop and let my people go. They are mine. Mm -hmm. They are mine. They are my treasure. Mm -hmm. They are my special people. Hallelujah. I allow no one to do them harm. Hallelujah. I rebuke kings for their sake. Yes. Saying, touch not who I have anointed. Hallelujah. Have a massacre. Lord God Almighty. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. You see, the enemy has to know that our God mm. is a promise keeper. Mm. He's a promise keeper, church. Mm. <laughs> Whatever he promises you, Amen. hold fast yes. to God's promise. Yes. Hold fast yes. to the promise of Almighty yes. God. Yes. Because look at what God did. It, it, he allowed Egypt to hold his people for 400 years. Mm -hmm. My God Almighty. A lot of them died in the land of Egypt. They died being a slave, my God Almighty. And young ones were born into slavery. Ah, my God Almighty. But the Almighty God, the all-knowing creator God, the sovereign God, the promise-keeping God in all his ways. Ah, my God Almighty, one day is going to say, let my What is not yours? <laughs> you can't hold what is anointed. You can't hold what I have set forth that they should go forth and multiply and replenish and accomplish according to what is written in the scroll of the book. You can't hold them forever, you say. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. When God gives a command, church, yes, Lord. I'm not talking about anyone that is simple. I'm talking about Jehovah God. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the God who you can't put no one to compare with him. As Isaiah 40 says, the word says from 25 to 31, to whom then will you liken me? Or to whom shall I be equal? says the Holy One. He says, lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things, who brings out their hosts by number, who calls them all by the name, uh, by the greatness of his might and the strength of his power. Not one is missing. Everyone is in its place. And he knows every star. He numbers them. He says, the word of God says, and then he says, have you not known? Have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary? His understanding is unsearchable, and he gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall, but those who wait on the Lord. Yes shall renew their strength. No matter how you're old, Hallelujah. you're gonna jump and prance like a kid. He says they shall mount up with wings like eagles, and they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Yes, 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 yes. That's the God who gives command. So all these little naysayers, mm. the folks who have not experienced mm. or heard about this God, mm. have not heard about your God. Mm. Hmm. When you come before them, just let them know there's a time selected yes. 
And God will say, let my people go. Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty, Hallelujah. let my people Hallelujah. go. You can't hold God's people. You can't box them up for a long time. You might have them down for a little while. But you can't box who God has anointed yes. for a purpose yes. forever. Yes. Oh my God Almighty. So yes. Pharaoh enjoyed Israel's life. And Israel's work for nothing, my God. For 400 years. But the time came when God says, hey, hey, hey. Lunch. Because here what? I want to, I want my people to worship me. I want my people to give me praise. And glory. I want my people to talk about my power and might. And they're in a foreign land, you say. Oh, glory, 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 glory. How can I sing Mount Zion's song in a strange land? Oh, I got to be in the land that God wants me to be. So he has to take us out of Egypt. He has to take us church out of Egypt. So be still. Be still and know that God is God. Be still, church. Be still. Because the command is given. And when the command is given, the enemy has to one day just give in to what God says. Amen. It took a Pharaoh ten plagues, as I said before. Because when the first encounter that Moses went in and told him, says, Thus said the Lord, the God Almighty, the God of Israel, God says, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness and hear all fear. He says, Who is the Lord? Hallelujah! That I should obey his voice to let Israel go. Who is this? You see, the problem is the folks who tend to want to hold God's people in bondage, they don't know your God, you see. Amen. My Lord. Amen. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's Amen. The thing. They have to know God through his miraculous work. Yes. If they never heard about him before, God is going to show them and reveal himself. In a mighty way. Hmm. That's the thing, my God Almighty. You see, you're in the midst of folks sometimes. And they don't have a clue who you are, you see. Oh yes, they sometimes say they know your God. But they don't know God Almighty. They might know him and hear about him. Hey, but they never experienced him in those ways. He says, oh my God. Almighty, in fact, they know me as God, but they don't know me as Lord. The Lord of Lords. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. And in short form, church, God gave the command, let my people go. Guess what? Pharaoh was glad to let go God's people. Yes. When God released death in Egypt, oh, yes. Yes, yes. Sometimes some things have to die before the enemy knows that God means business, you see. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, death sometimes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hallelujah, my God Almighty. It has to take something drastic sometimes for them to know who you are in Christ. Yes. Unfortunately. And it does not have to come up to that. But sometimes, my God, when they don't know God and they talk about they know God, mm -hmm. God says, who am here? You want to know about me? I'm going to teach you some things. I'm going to show you who have the full force mm -hmm. and the power to do all things. When it was done, fear was happy to let go God's people. He says, go your ways. I don't want to see you anymore. Mm. But once he let go God's people, mm. and it became real for him, mm. Pharaoh says, what did I do? Am, am I crazy? Mm. Who is going to spin all these straws? Mm. 
Yes, go after them. <laughs> oh yes, that was the final straw. You say, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Because sometimes when the enemy hmm. let loose of God's people, hmm. and God has you on a path, mm -hmm. the enemy wants to go back after you. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's a song that says, ah, the enemy he realized that. I, and he didn't want to let me go. He can't catch me again. You can't catch me again, devil in hell. For if you let loose of me one more time, if you let loose of me, hey, la miche koto, hey, rabbi esente, olomo shunto, you are not going to catch me again when you had me in your palm. You should have killed me, hey, but you don't. You can't catch me. You hold me, me back for a long time. I want to go, but, but you wouldn't let me go. I know I'm free. free. You come running but after, you but you can't, can't catch me. Oh, yes, I can catch you that door. Hey. Oh, I caught you that door. You can't catch me again, devil. The word of God says that. Children of Israel went up before the Red Sea, and when the Red Sea says, Hey, ah, gonna be a block for you. And God says, Moses, stretch your rod on and put your rod over that sea. Oh, yes, and, jo and, and Moses spread the rod. And once the rod went, the sea gave way to God's people, you say. Oh, I see some seas giving way to God's people. That you can walk through mm -hmm. safely to your promised land. Amen. Let my people go. I have a promised land that is set mm. for my people. Mm. And I have to have them that they can worship me. You see, Amen. when God take you through, when God take you through, Slavery, bondage. Let's talk about bondage. Yes. Yeah, that's the word, bondage. Mm -hmm. You see, when God take you to bondage, yes. you never hear about bondage. Mm -hmm. When you're bound mm -hmm. and you are bound and you have to do mm -hmm. at the will mm -hmm. of the one that bonds you. My Lord. Ah. I remember this woman who told his story. And we were talking and he says, Sylvia, you, he says, you, you know me when God let me loose, you say. Ah, because I was bound by drugs for a long time. And she said, I was in a drug house all night, Saturday night. And this was a child of God who was in the fellowship of God. And Satan got a hold of her. And she says, all night I was in that choke house. And she says, when I came in in the wee morning, mm -hmm. she says, I took a look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And she says, when I looked in the mirror and saw the one that was looking back at me, mm -hmm. I said to her, I'm sick and tired of you. Mm -hmm. And she, she says, I'm sick and tired of you. And she said, God, you got to let me loose from this woman that is looking back at me. Oh, I hate her. I don't want to see her anymore. You got to save me, Lord God. And she said she fell on her knees and cried out to God. And she says that moment, that very moment, she felt something moved inside of her. And she says when she got off her knees, she was a new creation. And she says when her pals from the drug house check her out the evening, girl, you're not going to hit it again. And she looked and she said, hey, yeah, my hitting days are over, you say. Hallelujah. I'm free from this bondage. And she says, they said to her, hey, you're just plain, girl. You will come back. We're going to see you later. Mm, mm, mm. She says this is now 10 years and the later didn't come back yet. Mm. 
let my people go. The devil in hell wants to hold on to God's people. But I am here to declare it. That when God gave a command, when God gives a command and tells the devil to let go my people, that the devil has to obey. Because you see, the devil is under God's authority. He is playing like he's in control of this earth, you see. Because God gave him the time to walk to and fro. So when he's walking all around, he says, hey, I have, I, I'm in command. But when God says, devil, Take your eyes off my child. Mm -hmm. Or stop using that person mm. to bind up my child. Mm. The devil has to hear. Yes. The devil in hell yes. has to hear church. Yes. I'm here to tell you yes. that the devil one can't go one day over mm -mm. when God gives the command. Mm -mm. To let my people Amen. go. Oh, I'm going to take you to a scripture about Joe Jacob and Laban, you see. I love that scripture, church. If you go to Genesis 30, my God Almighty, and when you look into that scripture, you're going to see Jacob was running from Esau. Because we know what Jacob did. Jacob did wrong by his brothers, stole his birthright, and yeah, Esau wanted to kill him. But when Jacob stood before God, Jacob was told by God. The, 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 the compassion of God came upon him. And God says, look, I'm, I'm going to put a hedge of protection around yeah. you, Jacob. Yeah. He says, nobody will be able to destroy you, my son. Oh, yes, oh, yes. And we all know that Jacob wrestled with the, with the, with the, with the angel and said, bless me. I want my blessing. And the word of God says that Jacob's name was changed. So God made a shift in his life. But the word says that Jacob came in connection with a man they call Laban who thought that he could use this young man for how many years? 20 years that young man slaved for Laban. Started seven years for a daughter that he had, my God Almighty, by the name of Rachel. And at the end of the seven years, Laban switched and says, No, the first has to be the first. And he gave Jacob. Leah instead of Rachel. And the word of God says that Jacob loved Rachel. Ah, and he had to work another seven years for Rachel. Yeah. I'm here to tell you that. Some folks, you see. We have some modern day Labans. Yes. Yes. Who want to take God's people. Yes. And they work them out. Yes. You hear me? Yes. You listen to me. <laughs> they work them out, church. Yes. And they pay them little yes. and nothing My for Lord. the job. Yes. And God allow it, you mm -hmm. see. God allow it. Because mm -hmm. there's a day coming. Hallelujah. There's a day coming, church. Hallelujah. There is always a day mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says that Jacob faithfully worked for Laban another seven years, so 14 years gone. And when Jacob went to him and said, I want my pay, he says, you got to go and with nothing. Jacob said, what? I want more than that. Look at all these livestock that I took care of. You're going to let me leave? With nothing. And they decided that look. Let's cut a deal. I'm going to stay another six years with you. And he says all the animals that are straight. And they are brown. They are going to be mine when I leave you say. But the thing is that Laban he knew that Jacob was in his midst. And he was blessed because Jacob. Yes. Oh, 
is blessing stealers. These blessing shearers who want to shear God's people's blessing for naught. Oh, but I have news for them. Because God is going to set it up in a way, my God Almighty. Oh, yes. Laban's chuck. He's chucked the business with Jacob. Jacob. Mm -hmm. And Jacob says, All right, Laban. Every animal that is street and of brown color, when I'm leaving you, it will be there will be mine. And Laban says, Yes, shake hands on it. And Jacob tended my God Almighty. And the word of God says that the animals that were born, every one, they were street. I'm here to tell you that God is going to streak up some things for his people. Oh, hallelujah. Hail our Robert. He's going to streak up some things, my God Almighty, for his people. That when you're leaving, my God Almighty, oh, you're going to take your Laban. Yeah, you're going to clean them out, says the Spirit of God. You're going to clean them out. You're going to clean them out. The Word of God says at the for the, when the six years finish, they came back together. And Jacob says, Hey, listen, Laban, I'm ready to go with my family. You say, I have children, and I have wives, and I have cattle, and I want my own place. Yes, yes, yes my Lord. <laughs> and Laban, Laban says, Hey. Yeah, all the animals, they look like they're yours because they're all street. Jacob says, no, that's not my problem, bro. Yeah. Ah, that's not my problem. You got to take it up with God. Yeah. Oh, you got to take it up with my heavenly father because I don't have nothing to do with amen, it. Amen. The one who is giver of life mm -hmm. did it. He's the one who street them up. You say, ah, my God Almighty, my God Almighty. And the word of God says that. Jacob took his wives, his children, and all the cattle, and head back up in the mountain to go back to his land. Because God had told him from the beginning that you're going for a time, but you're going to come back to your land that you're running from. You're going to come back. And the time had come, the promise keeping God. And when Laban heard and saw before him that Jacob was cleaning him out, Laban decided to go after Jacob. And God gave him a vision at night and said, let me tell you something. Make sure, say, if you don't, neither good nor bad. Don't you ever talk about it. Hallelujah. Yes. God gave him a command and says, You keep your mouth shut. If you don't have nothing good to say, don't say it. And don't say no bad either. Shut up your mouth when you come. I am here to decree and declare it, church, as thus said the Lord, that when God is seeking you out of your labor and captivity, oh yes, God is going to give a command that she or he will go, my God Almighty. And you can't even open your mouth and say nothing. You're going to have to say all good things Amen. and send them through the Amen. door with what Amen. God speckled up and you can't change it. Oh, there will be a speckle in my God Almighty. Ah. Hallelujah. Speckling. Thank you, Lord. Speckling. I got to say ah, that word. You, oh, some speckling is going to take place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some speckling is going to take place. Some speckling, church. Yes. Some speckling is going to take place because the enemy has to know that. You cannot rob a child of God. Amen. Amen. That's the problem. Amen. You see, because they don't know who your God is, Hallelujah. they will come against you and try to take away 
They think they have you for a stupid fool. The time when God allow you to be in Egypt. The time when God allows you to be there, my God Almighty. Can I tell you that? I hear the words, the four words. Let my let my people go. You can't hold on a man of God or a woman of God Amen. for long. Hallelujah. Oh, you can't hold a God. You can't hold a child of God forever. There is a time set. There is a time set, church. Yes, Lord. I want yes, you to Lord. grab this yes, word. Lord. I said there is a time set. Yes, Lord. Your enemy might pursue you. Hallelujah. They might have you down in a corner, back up for a long time. My Lord. Oh, they might use you and abuse you mm -mm -mm. for a long, long time. Mm -mm -mm. But I hear this shout. Ah. Hey, la lobo, so Let my people Yes, Lord, God. Go. Yes, Lord. There is a show, church. Mm -mm. And when that show comes, mm -mm. it's not coming from no ordinary man's mouth. Mm -mm. It is coming from the Lord of hosts. Oh, yes. It is coming from the Mouth of Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is no easy or no normal command. My Lord. Jesus. It's an extraordinary a, 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 a command to say, mm. You got my people mm. and you use them, you even enjoy the blessing. My Lord. My Lord. My you enjoy Lord. it for a long time. A long time, Lord. A long time. Four hundred years. My Lord. It's a long, long time. Mm -mm. Ah, mm -mm. but I feel it in my spirit. Mm -mm. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. There's victory in the making, my God Almighty. Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. Let my people oh. go. He is the Lord of our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Mm. He remembers his covenant forever. Mm. And the word which he commanded for a thousand generations. Mm. The covenant which he made with Abraham. And his oath to Isaac. And confirmed it to Jacob for a statue. To Israel an everlasting covenant saying to you. I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. And when they were few in number. Indeed very few and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another. And from one kingdom to another people. He permitted no one to do them wrong. Yes he rebuked kings for their sake saying. Touch not. My anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Let go, my people. <laughs> Let go, my people. Hallelujah. I want to expand them, my God. I want to expand their borders from the east and from the left. I want to lengthen their stakes and enlarge their tents. You say, Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Let my people go. Mm. Let go my people. Yes. <laughs> you can't Lord. pull them back. Mm -hmm. ah, 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 thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, there's a shout. Jesus, my Lord. There's a shout on the horizon thank you, coming. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There is a shout, my God Almighty. And no one can contain the shout. Oh, yes. There's a shout from the east and there's a shout from the west. There's a shout from the north and from the shout from the south, my God. Let go, my people. The time has come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I got to touch also on this woman who was... For 18 years, the word of God says in Luke 13, 
that she had an infirmity. The woman was bound. The woman couldn't worship God because he, all she did was to look on the ground, you see. And while she was bound, my God, for 18 years, there came a time, my God, when Jesus Christ came in contact with her because the time had come when the woman will be told, my God, you're let loose and the devil will be rebuked Amen. to let this woman go. Let my people go. I want to hear worship from her. I want her to stand tall, you say. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. There's so many of God's people are bowed down and they can't even raise themselves up. Oh my God Almighty, they are mm, on a under a load, a heavy burden. Have them down, my God, for a long, long time, you say. And the word of God says that when Jesus came and saw the woman, Jesus says, hey, look, no, I can't, I can't, I, oh, why are you there looking on the ground like that? My Lord. Hmm. And Jesus says, woman, thou art loose. Hallelujah. Woman, I now let you go. Mm -mm -mm. And the woman stood upright. And was able to praise God. Hallelujah. I am here to decree and declare it, my God Almighty, that so many of God's people have been kept mm. in the places mm. for a long, long time. Mm. Yes, they have been bounded by so many different situations, mm. and they can't even live their God given uh, perspective of life, you see. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Mediocre life. Don't know life. Uh, oh, hallelujah. 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 God knows that some of your hearts burned. You want to do this, you want to do that. You want to make well with your life. You want to grow. You want to expand. Jesus. You want to have like yes, what God says you should yes, have. Lord. But for years, my God, you're held in captivity. My Lord. Oh, I am here to tell the devil in hell, let my people go. Thus said the Lord God yes, Almighty. Lord. Thus said created God. Let loose my people. Let loose my people. Let loose and let them live. My let them expand. Yes. Uh, oh, yes, I see expansion in the horizon. Hallelujah. Let them expand. Hallelujah. Let them expand. Let them expand. Hey, 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 hey. Let them expand from the right. Let them expand from the left. Let them expand from the north and from the south. Let them expand and let all who see them can know that I am God and that I am a God who let loose those who are bound. Yes, My God Almighty, oh, we got to praise God yes, Lord. because it's through the Lord's mercies why we are not consumed. Because his compassion fail not church. They are new every morning. Great is God's faithfulness. The Lord is our portion, says our soul. Therefore we hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him. And to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should hope and wait quietly. For the salvation of the Lord. That one should hope and wait quietly. And consistently. For the Lord. Wait. I say on the Lord. David knew that he had to wait on God. 
because he was kept a beto from that throne from age 16 and didn't inherit it until he was 32. So he had to wait. But there came a time when God says, hey, look, hey, that the time is expired. Go and sit on the throne that I've appointed you. And because of that, David says, I would have lost heart if I did not believe that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm -hmm. I would have lost heart. Yes. So that is big saying, church. You can't lose heart in the time of waiting. Hmm. When you're waiting on God hmm. to come through for you, when you're waiting on God to let you go out of bondage, don't lose heart. Amen. David says, I would have lost heart if I had not believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait, church, on the Lord. Wait and hope in God for he is sure to come. He says, and he has given a command, let my people go. And I'm going to use this to close this message. And now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power. Hey, lo, my God almighty, both now and forever and forever. Mm. Oh God, our heavenly Father, we praise you, Lord, Lord. And magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord God, and give you honor and power and dominion, oh Lord God almighty. We praise you, Father, for this day and thank you Lord for the power of your Holy Spirit thank you for the word that went forth oh God that your God who is promise keeping a sovereign God a long suffering God a faithful God a God who is steadfast in your love for your people oh God we give you praise Heavenly Father and magnify your name, for there is none like you, O God. No one can be compared with you. You are all by yourself a sovereign God. Hallelujah. No one can compete with you. <laughs> you will be no competition with anyone, for your God enthroned. Lord God, when you give a command, Everyone must stand at attention, Lord, and everyone will obey as thus said the Lord. We thank you that you are with us. We thank you that you are Father for us. We thank you that you have called us in your awesome family. Hey, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you and bless your name and, and give you all power and honor and glory and dominion and riches and righteousness and holiness. Hallelujah. Praise and adoration for you, the living God. We honor you this day and surrender everything to you, God. We surrender the process of waiting in your mighty capable hands as we wait to hear from you. Hallelujah. Keep us. Sustain us. Shelter us. Walk with us. Guide us. Lead us. Bless us. Refresh us. Sustain us. By the power of your Holy Spirit. We give you thanks and give you praise and give you all the glory. In other name, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our Lord and Savior and God's children. We'll agree and say amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus.